Good afternoon all. Today I'm going to have a quick look at uh, Orkey's 30,000 milliamp hour lightning power bank with Qualcomm Quick Charge 3 technology. Now this unit has been kindly supplied by Orkey, so thanks very much to Orkey. And for more information on the arrangement between myself and Orkey, see the description. So this is uh, model PBT11. Let's do a very quick unboxing. And here we are with instruction manual, uh, registration card, and the power bank. Now also in the box is this. Um, it's very short. It's a branded USB on one end lead, but that doesn't look like lightning to me. That actually looks like USB-C. So uh, yes, you can just about make out the 12 connections along one side and there are 12 along the other. It's a 24 pin connector. So this is indeed a USB type C plug. And uh, the manual does indeed say that you get a 20 centimeter USB A to type C cable. That's handy. Okay, let's have a look at connectivity. Uh, we have an orange colored USB socket, that's out one. Now that's Qualcomm Quick Charge 3 compatible. We have a green USB, uh, USB output socket. Uh, that's standard USB, but of course both of these have the uh, AI auto adapting technology. That uh, ensures that the, the device you plug in always receives the maximum current that it can handle. Uh, there's a little LED flashlight here. Now that will either be a double click no, in that case, it will be a press and hold. Yes, it's a press and hold. Press and hold again to switch it off. And there are two input sockets. Uh, this one is micro USB and this one is Apple Lightning. Okay, now here it says capacity 30,000 milliamp hours. Uh, that's 111 watt hours, but of course that's calculated at 3.7 volts. Input one, DC, five volts, 2.4 amps. Input two, DC, five volts, 2.4 amps. Output one, this is the Qualcomm Quick Charge 3 output. Uh, DC five to 6.5 volts at three amps, or 6.5 to nine volts at two amps, nine volts to 12 volts at 1.5 amps. And output two, standard USB, DC five volts, 2.4 amps. And uh, on the front here, we have the on off switch. Press that and it pulsates in a rather nice green color while it's on. And then when the unit switches itself off, that of course goes out. Right, let's take a quick look at the Qualcomm Quick Charge 3 uh, output. Let's plug in this power monitor and switch the unit on. And that's saying that we're getting 5.14 volts coming out of that socket. Now, of course, we can coax that socket into giving a higher voltage if we use a Qualcomm Quick Charge. Uh, well, I've got a Quick Charge 2 compatible test unit, so let's try that. So this little device provides the required signaling on the D plus and D minus lines to tell the uh, power bank to raise its voltage. So let's switch that on. That comes on at five volts. Let's plug this in and that will start at five volts and then tell the unit to go up to nine volts and then tell it to go up to 12 volts. And we're getting 5.1, 9.1 it was. Let's switch it on again. It's virtually no load created by this, 9.1 and 12.06 volts. So certainly the Quick Charge 3 port seems to be doing its thing. Now the battery indicator light is apparently white when this is between 70% and 100% charged, green when it's between 30% and 70% charged, and this goes red below 30% state of charge. Right, let's see how it copes with some uh, loads. So I've got a couple of one amp loads here, which I'll then switch to two amps to see how well the voltage holds up. And we can see that the voltage uh, holds at five volts with uh, one amp being drawn through each socket. So let's switch those both to two amps. And uh, although the voltages are slightly different, uh, they are holding up reasonably well to five volts even with a two amp current draw, this could be a connector thing. 
uh, a 2 amp current draw with these uh, USB loads. Right, I've now fully discharged the power bank and you can see that it indicates that it's uh, got no charge by flashing the uh, power switch on and off in red. Okay, now I'm going to recharge the power bank and I'm going to do it from this uh, high current mains power supply um, which has both normal ports and quick charge 3 ports because I want to see how much current this unit draws when it's being charged from completely flat. So let's plug that into the micro USB input. Uh, that's gone green to indicate that it's charging and the current is climbing up and it's gone to 2.56 amps. Now notice that although this port is an orange port, it's a quick charge 3 compatible port, the power bank is not drawing current at a high voltage, it's drawing it at 5 volts. So the input to this power bank uh, does not use the higher voltages of quick charge 3. So that's 2.56 amps. Let's try it in a standard port. This is one of these green ports. See how much current that draws. The current is climbing up. And it's about the same, it's drawing two and a half amps. Now, one thing I've noticed about this power bank is that when you plug in a load, it doesn't automatically switch on. You have to manually press the button to switch the power bank on. So that was a quick look at Orkey's PBT11 power bank, 30,000 milliamp hours, that's 30 amp hours. Uh, it has two USB sockets, one is Qualcomm, Quick Charge 3 compatible, has two input sockets, one is micro USB, the other is Apple Lightning, and it's also supplied with a very short USB Type-C cable.